Info that you can use. It's time for Nine at Nine. At number nine earlier this week, Robin made a super supper loaf with bologna, and it got us thinking, what the heck is bologna made of? So we did a little investigative reporting. It could be a few things. It usually contains cured beef, chicken, or pork, or you could win the trifecta and have a little bit of all three. Ooh. Depending on the type of bologna you buy, you might get premium cuts of meat, or you might end up with ground up organs, trimmings, and other assorted odds and ends. Mm -hmm. And fillings are cooked, smoked, grounded up, and wrapped in a casing. Of course, the casing is removed before the bologna is sold in stores. Yeah, you what got me was the highbrow stuff. It yeah. was tasty. Yeah. It's special bologna, okay? Mm -hmm. You haven't had the good mm. stuff, Larry. That was really good. All right, number eight, talk about smell -o vision Scientists in Hong Kong developed a VR headset that blasts various scents up your nose while you play video games. There are 30 scents in all, including pancakes, roses, mojitos, pineapples, and more. Uh, they're also working on creating more vague scents like walking outside or having lunch. Mm. The goal is to incorporate this technology into movies and TV, and the hope is that doctors might one day be able to use it when helping patients recall lost memories. Mm. 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 All right, number seven. In 1964, the Beatles song, I Want to Hold Your Hand, sat on top of the Billboard charts for a record amount of time, three and a half months. You probably can't guess the song that it knocked out of the top spot, but here it is. Hello, Dolly, this is Louis. Dolly, it's so nice to have you back where you belong. That was sitting at number one before the Beatles. No, no, came. that, I think that no. knocked the Beatles off. No. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, no, it, Louis Armstrong knocked the Beatles off, right? No. Yeah. 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 Did I read I'm that reading one? the script. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So this guy beat the Beatles with this huh. piece of crap, so. It is not a, have you seen Hello Dolly with Barbra Streisand? One? It's a classic. Oh, don't spoil Louis, it for me. Don't and tell Louis me. Armstrong is a band leader, and it's a fabulous scene in the big dining hall where they have you all these waiters the dancing down yeah. the stairs. Yeah. It's one of the all time great musical moments. Yeah, he's great, but. <sighs> All right, number six, there is a new pet-friendly private jet company that will fly you and your pup across the globe. Finally. Uh, <laughs> others do it, but this one lets your pet sit with you instead of going in a crate in the cargo area. It's called K9 Jets. It's just one of several new airlines offering the service. You can fly from New York to London or Paris for 9000 bucks. Oh, is that all? Actually, no, you're splitting it with a few people. Let's. Oh, 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 oh. It's a full, I think it's for oh. the whole jet, right? Or I, I could be wrong. K9 has 17 scheduled flights between now and September. Uh, eight of those flights are already sold out because people love their dogs. <laughs> All right, number five. Here's a quirky Twitter feed. It's called Composers Doing Normal Stuff. It's actually a, a different word from stuff, but we blurred that out. And that's all it is. Photos taken from the archives of the Library of Congress showing composers doing non-musical things. So you get stuff like this. Lou Reed practicing Tai Chi with Metallica. <laughs> or this. Sergei Rachmaninoff having a miserable time with some lady friends. Oh boy. Uh, this is Burt Bacharach uh, eating some pimento cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Dizzy Gillespie taking a break from tennis to smoke a cigar and listening to uh, a cocktail drinking guitarist Joe Pass. Oh. Well, that's weird. How about two more? Dmitry Shostakovich having a miserable time with his wife, Irina. <laughs> and Christoph Penderecki having a miserable time with Shostakovich's wife, Irina, as well. Oh, she, she, <laughs> yeah, she gets around. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, number four, are you giving off MCE? That stands for main character energy. Now, you might be. Main character energy refers to someone who wants to be the center of attention all the time. Think Carrie Bradshaw in Sex and the City. But Carrie is also a class N art narcissist. You want to give off confidence. You want to take control of your own narrative and write your own story. But you don't want to be annoying. So personality scientists came up with some tips. Don't overdo it. It's not all about you. Remember to be the main character of your own story. But you don't want to overshadow your friend's story. So in short, 
a good main character is self-aware, not self-centered. Now you know. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Yes. All right, number three, someone on the show will have to try this and get back to everyone. There's a recipe going around on TikTok for a chicken cobbler that people are crazy for. It remixes the classic chicken pot pie, and there are tons of different videos out there that have about 24 million views. It's popular because it seems easy. You get a rotisserie chicken, yep. frozen peas and carrots, yep. and this is the key, some of that red lobster oh, cheddar bay biscuit on. mix. Oh. The rest is just milk, chicken stock, and butter. You throw oh, it all in boy. a casserole wow. dish, you bake it. Hmm. I, it does sound good. Sure, yes, yeah. it does. I mean, that that doesn't sound terrible to no, me. No, it doesn't. No. Maybe you should make, make something good for maybe a change. Yeah, maybe for the last week, go. I'll make something good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not that he'll be able to tell the difference. <laughs> uh, number two, this is the type of discrimination that we can certainly identify with. Beautiful scientists. They get less respect than those frumpy nerds in lab coats. Not my writing. Uh, a survey in the proceedings of the National Academy of Scientists asked people to rate the headshots of 600 real genetic scientists. They told them to base their ratings on attractiveness, competence, morality, and sociability. And they found the nerdier the scientist, the higher the perception that he or she is doing good work. The reason this is important is because if a scientist can't get his or her research taken seriously, there won't be funding for them. And of course, it's just discrimination against the beautiful people. Yeah, it is. And listen, Paul and I know what it's like to be victims of that. Yeah. Years. But... There are also some benefits. Yeah. Such as? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Number one in Mike Toomey's tease at the top of the show, we saw this clip that went viral a few years back. This is actually the opening to the 1988 Crystal Light National Aerobic Championship. Uh, we had totally forgotten that Key and Peele did an absolutely deranged oh, yeah. and hysterical take on this. It's a long <laughs> clip and some is not okay for morning TV, but uh, here's a look. <laughs> Live from the Nestle Arena, welcome to the finals of the 1987 Jazz Fit Championships. Representing the body shop from Hollywood, California, Flash. <laughs> and from the skinny shop in Detroit, Michigan, mm -hmm. So weird. Wait, what's going on? Oh, what? <laughs> this is the part we can't show on TV. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Oh, yeah, we'll see. Play. <laughs> <It's going. laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> 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 oh no! Oh no!
Oh, oh, this is a good <laughs> out of the box. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, that's good. Brilliant. Nine at nine. <laughs>